today I thought we would do a little journal and notebook walkthrough and I would give you 10 ways that you can use your notebook. If you are anything like me, you probably have a mountain of really beautiful notebooks that you either don't use because they're too pretty <laughs> or you don't know what to do with them. This one I thought was really quite pretty. My husband brought it back from a conference. Um, it's just like a, a leather unity notebook and I actually didn't have an address book at the time. It's a good size, it's quite sturdy. So I just went through and counted the pages and then sectioned them out into the alphabet. And then I just put people's um, names, addresses and birthdays. They saved me having to buy a new address book and it was a good way to use one of my many notebooks. These are stunning. These are from the Royal Horticultural Society. I absolutely love these. I've actually only used one of them at the moment. This one I actually use for my podcast work. So I contribute to a public health podcast, probably works out about once a quarter. So obviously I need to get it right and do my research. I'll tend to just do public health specific research for the podcast in a notebook. I have an art notebook. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you've probably seen that I like to relax and just I find it if I'm listening to a podcast say or if I'm not kind of listening to a podcast and cleaning or doing something else then I'll actually really enjoy uh, doing a little bit of art. Occasionally I might come up with a really good recipe where I've kind of used half of this recipe and half of that recipe. I think I once made some what I thought were incredible sugar-free sweet potato brownies. I thought they were beautiful. I don't think anybody else in the house liked them, but I like them. I'm not really much of a cooking person, so there's not really much in this one. For about 10 years, I've been trying to teach myself Arabic on and off. And language, I have to say, language is not my forte. <laughs> so I think I'm probably the same point of the language learning as I was 10 years ago. It is in my life journal. It is something that I will do. For me, I find the best way to learn, and I've recommended this to a lot of my students over the years, and they all seem to like it too, is um, writing things down and repetition. If you write things down, it just seems to go in a little bit more. This is me trying to teach myself the vocab by writing the English sound. This is Moocha, one of my favorite artists, and this was a gift. It's kind of like my bullet journal for productivity. Um, it's just a plain journal that I pretty much write things like to-do lists and all the different kind of if I sit in it through any classes or if I do any learning if I, I kind of take it to work with me and make meeting notes in it and if I'm on the phone to anybody if I need to take down details or numbers or just anything absolutely anything it's just a bullet journal of a productivity so literally anything that I do during the day on a daily basis in this journal. Just started using this one as a learning journal. So I teach myself quite a lot of stuff online just because obviously making YouTube videos and the whole media thing is not something that I've ever really done before starting out on YouTube. When I obviously started out I needed to sort of teach myself all of that. I ended up just using this one almost as like a learning notebook so I just keep this next to my PC so if I'm sort of sat doing some work I think oh I don't know how to do that I'll just go on YouTube find out find a tutorial on it do it from the tutorial and then sort of make some learning notes or if I'm watching a webinar if I'm taking part in an online course then this will just be my learning notebook this is my life journal that again I've done a video on life journaling I'll link it somewhere so you can see it but this one is actually probably my most useful journal because this is where I'll keep things like my one year, two year, three year, five, 10 year goals, all of my long term plans, all of my strategies, everything like that I will keep in my life journal. I also use a spiritual scrapbook. So this is things that I will collect, um, inspiring pictures or words or prayers or 
anything really that's kind of spiritual and I'll use for meditation or reflection. I use journals for things like stream of consciousness. Um, so morning pages, if you've ever heard of morning pages, I kind of do my own version of that. Um, and I also keep a notebook in my car because sometimes when I'm driving, you know, you might come up with that good idea while you're driving, then um, I have a notebook for when I stop driving and I can sort of record that down before I get distracted by whatever it is that I'm doing at that point in time. Um, but yeah, so those are the kind of main journals that I use. Um, I hope it gives you a bit of an inspiration. So I hope you found that useful or at least a little bit interesting. Maybe it's inspired you to find some unique ways for filling in your journals. If you like this sort of content, please do consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that.